So friends, welcome again. I hope you are relishing and enjoying and getting some knowledge out of my videos which I have shared on the YouTube. I am getting a very good response from all of you. And this is just for your knowledge sake, to just to ease your work pressure, work tension in the bank, right? So just to help you in learning more of more of Finical. Like most of the banks are using these Finical systems nowadays. After merger of media, government banks also and private banks are also using this Finical, right? So this is the main server that is being used in most of the banks. So most of you who are in the, into this will be benefited by this. So in this video, I'll show you how to open a current account. Having said that, I'm also preparing a website of mine, banktechskills.com, wherein you, I'll be giving you a demo on various topics while working live in the Finical server. So I have bought a server, Finical, of my own, where I shall be sharing all these commands related to transactions, account openings, closures, loans, and to some of you, those who are doing uh, special assignments like trade finance, loans, foreign exchange, right? So various other activities and besides sales and selling techniques, how to develop your skills, soft skills, communication skills, personality, career management, your self-development, self-management. I'll be sharing a lot of topics on that. I think that will be benefit for all of you. Hope you like this, right? So this is the command that you see on the screen is H-O-A-A-C-C-A. So this is a process of opening of a current account in the Finical system. So <clears throat> in the many shortcut field, maker has to enter this H-O-A-A-C-C-A. So I'll show you the screenshot and my website also where I'll be announcing through the YouTube only that I, my website is ready so that you can join that I think that will be very very useful more useful than what you're seeing here this is just a clearing of your basic concepts of finical working here so click and go I think you all know this system displays account opening current screen so these are the tabs that you see general details interest details scheme details related party details and or are mandatory even if there are no fields updates to be done so you can note it down general details interest details scheme details and related party details even if the account is single related party details is generally for joint account so even if it is a single account this has to be visited this tab has to be visited it is mandatory here general details of course we'll be uh, selecting the mode of operations dispatch of statement of account like that interest details where the interest has to be credited, where the interest has to be debited, which account has to be credited, which account has to be debited with the interest, right? Depending on the scheme is. So these tabs are compulsorily to be visited. So you can make a, keep on making these notes of these. And I would request, I would advise all of you, maintain a diary, separate diary, buy a new one and make it a finical diary and load down these things. So that will make your job very easy. So this is the field here. You can see customer ID we enter here, right? GIF ID. That is customer identification code here, right? Customer information file, SIGGIF, or some people call it SIF also. That depends on the terminology that you're using in the bank. SIGGIF ID is mandatory for opening a foreign customer account. And I've shown you various PPTs on how to create a GIF, whether it is a retail or a corporate right so what are fields are to be visited then scheme code is very essential so generally when we will be typing this command h o a a c c a so all the variants of current accounts will appear on the searcher right so i'll show you in the live display on my websites but here you can understand you can see automatically left hand side there is an open o right Beneath that, there is KIF ID. You have to type a KIF ID number here that you have generated to CRM, right? And then scheme code is very, very important, like CA Gen, current account general schemes, right? At this block number two here, right? This is very important here, right? It is here. So this is open. 
gif id here and click on go here here it is the button here right so general tab opens up like this only you can see here right so you can see various account status is given here right so you do not have to change each and every field only which are mandatory field marked with red star or red asterisk are mandatory and some fields are which are relevant are to be entered so dispatch mode as i told you whether it wants to courier or special person to collect a statement of account or through email id so that depending on the mandate from the customer given in the account opening form mode of operations click on search here there are various options will appear for you former survivor jointly single right or either survivor all these options will appear you have to choose as per the mandate of the account and the type of the account if it is single account you will choose self you can't choose either a survivor interest details next tab is interest details tab here this one this is general details to so mainly these two mode of operations and dispatch mode here interest details is very very important here this has to be done right so which account has to be credited right here you can see it is original debit account which has to be credited here right this is current c agent scheme code is there so interest tab is very very essential right then gregorian code is the calendar code for using calendar mode here gregorian mode interest details tabs here next is interest tab details here right so mode of operation we have entered here dispatch mode we have entered next screen we'll see interest details here you see so interest debit type select s for original means interest has in case there is a, any overdraft of course we don't pay any interest in current account we charge interest in case there is a overdraft right so we have to keep this interest debit account as original credit will be nil it will be masked there you cannot choose original there because we don't pay any interest in current account next interest calculation date is generally the month end so whatever the date whatever the month you are entering or opening the account you have to enter the last day of death month because interest is charged on monthly basis in case of loans or assets so overdraft is an asset account loan account so we have to choose last date of the current month you can see, you see here it is given in the remarks column here then scheme details we have seen right mode of operations and all that right so that is all there next is in case of current accounts record one in the related party details screen will contain the details of corporate gift id as main relationship type or retail gift id but since we are opening a current account it will be a corporate gift id as a main relationship type all other authorized signatories details have to be added one after the other in this tab by clicking on the add button as explained below right so i told you scheme details interest tab details scheme details and interest tab details are to be visited mandatorily here right so related party tabs detail has to be visited even though it is a single proprietary current account only right this has to be visited here so thus we have entered general details mode of operations dispatch mode of the current account interest details here we added right original savings account for debiting now scheme details this contains generally for nominations to so buy customization of this it is by default it is coming no but a proprietor or opc company can nominate a nominee in those cases we have to change this radio button tab from no to yes otherwise if it is any entity partnership llp private limited public limited this will remain no itself right and you don't have to change any other field it is all customized here so don't tinker any field if you change it some error will come and you will not be able to find where that error is coming from right so scheme details generally for nominations the current account generally it will be no 
only in case of proprietors or OPC one person company a person or director can nominate a nominee here and next is related party details that has to be visited nothing has to be entered in case if it has any other account let's say you can say you are opening a private limited company there will be two directors three directors here related party tabs you will add those FIDs of those directors and choose the mode of operations accordingly right that this has to be born in mind so as per the mandate or resolution of the com company what is the mode of operation if it is two of the three uh, directors or any authorized signatory has to be there even authorized signatory can be added here so his KIF can also be created or otherwise without KIF also we can add him as a authorized signatory and we have to type the relationship code there right so here you can see this is relationship party code related party code details here right the first page will appear of the original KIF ID that we had entered while opening the current account so that corporate KIF ID all the details that we had entered in the corporate KIF ID in the CRM will appear on this first page now I want to add any authorized signatory I have to click on this left hand side add button here click on this add same page will appear with blank fields where you have to put in the KIF ID if you put in KIF ID all the details that are enumerated in the KIF will automatically populated otherwise you have to type individually manually in every field address name right that has to be entered here so these are the main fields that have to be opened while opening up for the current account and same has to be verified by the verifier he has to visit all these details so it's very simple so when i'll be showing you a live demo on my website it will be more clearer right so your concepts basic concepts i'm clearing out here for your benefit and knowledge sake right the relationship type when you are adding any authorized signatory any director in a private limited company or anyone right select appropriate from the drop down menu selection is based on the relationship of the record with the main record means what the position of that person is in the corporate current account only right relationship select the appropriate with the help of searcher you click on searcher i call it help uh, friend in need is a friend indeed searcher is a friend in need is a friend indeed enter the kif id if it is available if it is authorized signatory we can enter his details and has have his signatures and photographs uploaded and press tab key system will populate kif details which we had entered while we were creating that corporate kif id in the crm here and we can add as many records as we like right so there may be three or four directors and it may say to any two of the directors can operate or any three can operate or either of the directors can operate the four of either of the four so we have to choose the mode of operation accordingly and here we can add as many records as we like all right so here you can see additional what is the additional authorized signatory here we have chosen here right so we can have a skiff id also we can type a skiff id here here it is written here right all these details will populate it automatically by the system that we had entered while creating that kif id in the crm right our relationship type what is the relationship authorized signatory hai director hai ya guarantor hai whatever it is if you are opening a loan account scroll the sidebar right and you reach the bottom of the page and finally we submit and we get a current account which has to be verified by the another officer right FATKA details now this is also important this has to be entered FATKA is foreign act foreign account tax compliance act this is generally a treaty between US federal and Indian government wherein any US citizen is liable to pay any taxes while working in india in usa we have to report it to usa itself this is a mou signed between the two countries i think you all know this we enter these fatka details here and finally we submit so if you submit and keep on validating after every tab here you just mask day here you can see here validate keep on validating so in case if you are leaving any field wrongly filled up or in field wrongly or not filled up left blank 
which was mandatory it will say fill up this field here it won't let you go ahead so it's better after every where in crm this facility was not available so we had to enter everything then we had to submit and all those in case errors used to come here you can keep pressing these validate tab after each tab so that any field is remaining you don't get a long list at the end of the submit button submission right so that is very important here so this is account number 51 is a savings bank account so you get this 15 16 does it so note the account number is created by the system this has to be noted down the account opening form and it has to be given to the verifying officer for verification so i think this is very simple then the summary general details tab interest details tab scheme details tab and related party details these four tabs are mandatorily to be visited while opening a current account here so again in a summary point general details mode of operations dispatch mode of the current uh, statement because we don't issue a passbook in a current account right so when we'll be opening savings bank account there won't be any option for dispatch there it will be masked there there right i'll show you in another video so i hope you are enjoying these videos uh, making i think a lot of people are liking it i'm getting a lot of comments and please do put in any any query anything that you want from me rest i'll most of your queries will be answered through my website i think this will be of immense help to all of you because i have seen some banks don't provide any basic training while employees are asked so those who are working in the banks right now either in the government bank or private bank or those who are willing to join so these youtubes on my websites will be of immense help this i can vouch i can assure you of this right so this is has to be noted down and this has to be verified here so i hope you're liking it please subscribe ask your friends to subscribe those who are those who want to join banking so that large people are benefited from my videos right and it is of some use to all of you so i think this is a very good opportunity for all of you subscribe to my channel please like channel and do put in any comment anything that you want i will try and incorporate in my next ppt's or next videos also so thank you so much so keep watching my videos and best of luck